Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've made it out to Malden along the estuary here for hopefully a boat wreck shoot. I've seen several images of this boat wreck on social media and I really wanted to come and capture it today and luckily enough I've got the opportunity to do that so hopefully it should work out to be a really interesting shoot so why don't you come along for the journey with me. So for the first shot I've made it down onto the uh, shoreline here and um, it's really really muddy. I'm um, kind of wishing I actually had my wellies rather than my walking boots however my walking boots have got more of a grip on so uh, yeah it's a bit of a catch-22 with this one. But um, what I've actually really enjoyed about this composition is dropping down really quite low because you've got some of these grasses in the foreground as some really nice interest. And because I'm on this level as well, the boat now is on my level at the same time. I'm not sort of, if I was up the bank, I'd be looking down onto it. And I didn't necessarily like that as a composition as I was looking at it. So I don't necessarily always get the camera straight on the tripod, but today I have because I don't necessarily want to put my bag down on the floor, get it all muddy and then have to put it in the back of the car for the drive back home. But um, anyway, it's uh, worked out to be really quite interesting composition. So camera on 18 mil, F11, ISO 100 is my kind of standard, about 1 20th of the second just to obviously balance that exposure triangle, working out really quite nicely. Composition wise, what I've tried to do is allow a little bit more over towards the uh, the bow of the boat, the front of the boat, because um, I think that's working out really quite nice composition wise. There's a lot of stuff um, other boat wrecks and hulls as well. It's um, really interesting looking around here and I think one area that you can really take a lot of time to explore. But um, for this main wreck here, working out really quite nice. Again, I think I like this side of the boat better because as you're looking at it, there's obviously the the far side of the boat, there's obviously still the side of the boat there and you kind of look through it as well and there's a lot more detail and interest to look at. The, the sort of flaky paint and that rust and decay that we are drawn to so much as photographers. Um, really interesting, I'm really enjoying this one here. Um, yeah, I think I, I'm obviously with a muted light at the same time today, it's really quite flat light. But what I'm actually liking that and playing in my favour is there's no sort of distractions in the sky. Um, and it's kind of um, a real sort of a minimalist image. Yes, I would have liked it with the tide a little bit further in. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably about half an hour or so below uh, high tide. So it's actually the tide's retreating now, which is a bit of a shame. I should have um, sort of made my effort to get over here for, uh, for, for when the turn of the tide. But this location is only about uh, half hour, 45 minutes or so drive from where I live. So it's not too far and well within the realms of coming back to shoot again when the conditions maybe with a tide in would be a little bit better. But um, that's, the tide, that's sometimes the thing, isn't it really? When you come to a new location, as this is for me, you're looking at it, you're looking at what compositions there are and thinking, do you know what? If the conditions were this, this and this, then I can obviously make it come back. And when those conditions present themselves, that's key for selecting this location to return to. Taking a short walk now along the shoreline, um, come to another composition here. I think this location is going to prove to be really key for multiple compositions and really interesting. So walking along here, um, I've got obviously this, the front of the boat, the bow of the boat, 
um, really interesting. And I've changed the camera around into vertical orientation because I, I tried it in landscape but wasn't too sure about the actual composition. Uh, there was too much of nothing left within it and uh, flipping it into vertical orientation worked out really interesting. So I've got one of these, the wrecks of another boat that's in the foreground is making up a little bit of interest with some of the reeds as well. And keeping over to the left hand side, the, the sort of front of the boat here, working out really quite interesting. Um, settings F11, ISO 100 and 1 15th to 1 10th of a second. But um, yeah, it's really interesting. I think there's so much detail that can be picked up from this uh, composition. Focusing wise, using the smooth zone autofocus on the 77D, pointing it right at the uh, obviously front of the boat there and uh, just letting obviously the autofocus do its thing. Because um, hopefully with that, I can then obviously pick out all of that detail and really sort of emphasize it. Now, the one of the things that I, am having to compromise when I've got it in um, vertical orientation is there's probably too much sky and as you can probably see in the uh, video the sky today there's no detail in it but I'm liking that because there's no detail in it however with composing it in a vertical orientation there is probably too much sky so I'm already thinking in post-production about probably making this a square crop. I don't necessarily want any of that or too much of that sky within the actual image. So um, yeah, it's kind of as you get used to doing your photography, you kind of pick up these, these tips and you sort of that photography foresight as such so you think well right I'm going to take this image but in already in editing side of it you, that's what you're going to be kind of doing and the sort of final result is hopefully what I've already said it would be but um, who knows once I get back to the uh, computer I may well change my mind completely. final composition again and made it that little short walk along the shoreline here looking back over to the boat as a main subject but got a little bit more of a foreground within this one so again keeping the camera this time in landscape orientation pretty much the same settings which is my go-to settings at the moment because of the lighting conditions however unfortunately I'm not sure if you can see in the video there but there's a lot of stuff in the foreground, particularly traffic cones. So even if you are sailing, you can never get away from a traffic cone. They're a bane of every driver's life. Looks like they're a bane of sailors' lives as well. But uh, yeah, I think I'm probably having to uh, clone those out in post-production. But um, again, working out really quite nice. Again, I think I've missed the opportunity to really capture this lovely boat wreck at the optimum time which would have been at high tide so as a scouting mission worked out really quite well I've got at least two to three compositions that I'm really happy with and when the conditions work out right this is a really good location to visit I think as well because it's quite open here as well um, the option of coming here at a sunrise would work out really interesting because you're going to get some lovely light reflected on this side of the boat so uh, yeah a location that can work in multiple conditions but I think the key thing is is timing it when the tide is coming in and then obviously receding as well but I must make sure I bring my wellies for that occasion but uh, this yeah it's working out really quite nice I'm really enjoying myself today Walking back to the car now as the conditions for this shoot, as I said, um, are not necessarily optimal today, but as a scouting mission today, that's worked out really interesting. I, I've seen several images of this boat online and um, I've really wanted to come and capture it. And luckily enough today, I've had that opportunity to do that. And uh, as I said earlier, that uh, at least I've got sort of two, 
maybe three compositions that I can capture when the conditions are right. But um, yeah, what a lovely location to come to visit. Chilly day, but that's, uh, that's, that's the way it is this time of year when you come out with your photography, but um, enjoyable nevertheless. And hopefully you have enjoyed it as well. I want to thank everyone for really watching and supporting my channel because you've really been a great source of encouragement. Um, with everything that's been going on this year, with work for me in the NHS, um, coming out to do photography is really what I want to do for my mental health. And having your support and your feedback and your really kind comments as well um, has really sort of given me motivation to keep coming out, uh, enjoying photography, and that's the real sort of key thing that I've taken from this year particularly. But uh, if it is your first time watching, please consider subscribing. Also, leave us a comment as I really do enjoy those comments. And until next time, when I'm out and about somewhere else, take care.